Will World War III break out? North Korea moves the needle but Kim is not crazy enough. Pyongyang's foreign minister boldly accused the U.S. of declaring war yesterday, after U.S. President Donald Trump claimed in a tweet that leader won't be around much longer. The furious North Korean response was branded absurd by Washington, but fears of conflict remain. Earlier on Tuesday the world sat on a knife edge when it was reported that North Korean aircraft were spotted moving to the country's east coast. With tensions seemingly about to boil over, one statistician warns the possibility of another really huge war is on the table. Professor Michael Spigot from the Department of Economics at Royal Holloway University of London, told Express.co.uk how the history of past conflicts and the development of war points towards another mass conflict. Writing a guest article for Statslife.org in 2016, he said, The bottom line is straightforward, in light of our sad human history. Only a fool would rule out the possibility that we will immolate ourselves one more time. If the future world resembles most of human history then we probably will suffer another really huge war. Yet there are good reasons to think that humans can make and are making a better future for themselves despite the development of super powerful weapons. Thus, a really huge war is possible but, in my view, extremely unlikely. Now a year on from reading his original article, Professor Spigot said things are looking a bit more volatile. But the good news is that despite this, neither Kim Jong-un nor are crazy enough to push the red button, according to the professor. He said, the whole 2016 article was a challenge for various reasons but among them was the difficulty in conveying and words a probability that is very low but not zero. If I say that I think it's really really small when you hear 0001 over the next century, or 0001, it's hard to pin these things down. I do think that the developments in move the needle a tiny bit. That said, despite how things may appear to some people, we're talking about fundamentally rational people on both sides. Both Trump and Kim Jong-un are very far from being people I like or respect but I don't think either one is just a crazy person who would like to have a nuclear exchange. Yet despite these assurances, the US military is still prepared for the eventuality of war on the Korean Peninsula. Marine Corps General Joseph Dunford Chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, told the Senate Armed Services Committee on Tuesday that Pyongyang is still a nuclear ticking bomb. Underlining that Pyongyang would develop a nuclear-tipped warhead soon, General Dunford said, North Korea certainly poses the greatest threat today. We clearly have postured our forces to respond in the event of a provocation or a conflict.